Hi guys, in this video we are building a couple of dialogues. We're going to build a built-in, well we're going to use a built-in dialogue and then we're going to create a custom one and finally we're going to animate it. Dialogues app. This is the usual stuff. Um, let's go with stack pane, I guess. Or a vertical box, actually, because we're going to have two buttons. Each button is going to spawn a different dialogue. Nope. Okay, uh, two buttons. Button just one. Open JavaFX dialog. This is the built in one. Now we're going to have a new button. Open custom dialog. So uh, the standard dialog is going to be an alert, which is type information. We're going to set the header text. We're going to set the content text, and then show. Forgot to add the buttons to seeing rough. Nope, semi come on. Right, so press that. We get a standard built in and alert type dialog with the header and the content. So we're going to build something similar but it's going to be a completely um, custom dialogue because then you have a lot more control for decorating it. Let's call it a custom dialogue. Extends, what does it extend? Let's go with stage. So we're going to actually use our own window. Uh, nope, the constructor instead. Well, doesn't need to be public. Um, what do we need? We need the header text and we need the content text. It's going to be custom information dialogue, I guess. Um, going to have a show, right, because there is already a show in there. Um, open dialogue and then Close dialog. Let's go with that. And we're going to just call show and we're going to close. Because um, we're going to be animating in, in the future, well, sometime from now, I want to keep it as open dialog and closed dialog rather than call these directly, at least for now. Right, what do I need? I need to to have some kind of a root. Uh, let's go with pain. Set scene. We're going to create a new scene. I'm going to pass the root in there. And I want the thing to be actually I'm just passing all for the color. So it's completely transparent. And we also want to initialize some stuff like the style uh, completely transparent. The modality should be um, application level. 
that means I think we can't go through to the original window. Uh, yeah, so any events occurring will go, are going to be blocked and they won't go through to the original window that spawned it, which is the current behavior for an alert type dialog. Uh, well, we need text for a header. Um, header text. And then one more for content text. Header needs to be a little bit uh, bigger compared to content. Set font, let's go with 20. Content text, let's go with. What, 16? Right, um, we need to add to everything to the root. Let's go with the same layout that we had um, in the alert in the built in dialog. So, some space, header text, and then content text. And then all of that is added to the root. We also need a button that will close the entire thing. Button. Okay. And button set on action is going to call close dialog. Add all box and then button. Let's try this. So custom dialog. Um, header content dialog open let's see what this looks like it's probably going to look horrible yeah mm, we need some background and we need to position some stuff let's go with uh, a rectangle background. Um, how big is it going to be? Let's go with 350, 150. Color, let's keep white smoke. I think white smoke is the default color for, um, well, for what you saw earlier. The default is actually black. Set stroke. We need some kind of bordering thing. Let's go with black and stroke width 3.5 so kind of really subtle we don't want to go um, too fancy yeah that looks good enough uh, and then we're going to position the button over here and then somewhere in the middle the header and the content so the button needs to go so translate x um, background width minus 50. So it's going to be bottom right. Um, height minus 50, let's go with that. Set some padding to our vertical box. That should offset it slightly. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, it's okay, actually. It's not very um, complex, but let's just add a bit more um, stuff. So that's a separator. Yeah, that's probably what I need. New separator, um, orientation, horizontal. To separate the header from the content. Yep, there's a separator there. It's not very visible, but it's there. Right, um, so that's our basic custom dialog. It's not great, but the important point is is that you can customize it in any way you want because you have full control over the scene graph.
for that particular dialogue. So now we're going to try and animate it. And how we are how are we going to do that? Let's go with um, scale. Scale is usually good. So I'm going to use scale transition. I already um, have a list of interpolators up for my animation, um, but I'm just not too sure what animation to use. I think scale is going to be good. Let's do two scale animations. So it's going to be scale one. We'll do something similar. Scale two. And then we're going to set them up here somewhere. Constructor is getting too big. Set from x001. Zero, zero, so this is actually going to scale from almost zero, zero, 002 um, to just y. We're not going to use x. We're going to use y first and then x. So that's that, and copy that to scale two, which is going to go, well, the Y has been already animated to one, so we don't want that. We want the X. So we're going to animate Y first and then X, and then all of that is going to be our sequential animation. Uh, scale one, scale two. Right, so what is it exactly that we're animating though? We need to set, oh, we need to set the duration as well. Duration, um, let's go really fast, something like 0.33, same for scale two. Then we need to add the node to animate. What is it that we're animating though? Is it the root? Let's go with the root. So that's going to animate the entire thing, which is what I think we want. Scale two. And then when this happens, we're going to, well, we're going to show and then animate, right? Play. And then when we close, actually, I don't care about close for now. I want to see if this works. Yeah, it's not too bad. So it animates the y-axis first and then the x-axis. After a few tries, it's actually reasonably smooth. And then what I want for the out animation is the same thing, but backwards. Symmetry is usually a good thing. So let's go with that. Um, so animation set on finished. So unfinished is what we're going to use for close, because when the animation finishes, then we're going to close the dialogue well, immediately. Um, how do I play this backwards? Play reverse, set reverse, set order reverse true, set cycle count to two. Right, that's going to play the forward animation and then backwards. Um, Play from duration. So what's the total duration of this? This is 033, 033 gives us 066. So let play the first bit. Actually, no, we're just going to skip the first bit and then we're going to play from the middle, which is what the reverse, when the re reverse thing kicks in. Yeah, let's try that. Yep. Nice. Yep, that's what I wanted. So it's kind of very, well, distantly similar to how Xbox does their achievements. Header, content, press that, disappears. I wonder if we need to accentuate the border around the thing. But I'll leave the UI stuff um, up to you to figure out. The last thing I want to do is to add some fancy interpolations. Interpolation is the thing that changes the rate of the animation. So if I go um, exponential, and I'll give you the link to all of these in interpolators, um, you can play around with them. 
let's define our interpolator here. Exponential out, it's going to be a new interpolator. We're going to return this, which is if ratio is this, then return one, else return that. And ratio is basically t in this context. Now I can use this to set to scale one animation, set interpolator. What? Can't be a reference. Oh, I forgot to make it static, static, find static final. There you go. Yep, that'll do. So it should be slightly different. So it should start, um, start out slow, then it should go fast. Now the out works. Well, the in works, the out doesn't work. So this should ideally be used in in I have to use something different for out. I'll use that one, which is going to is actually in. That's T, that's T. That we don't need, that we don't need, that, and then that. So in or out is going to be out. Yep. Yeah. So the interpolation is also symmetric, which works better. Okay, so in this tutorial um, slash video, we created, well, we used a standard built-in um, JavaFX dialog. We create our custom dialog, which is kind of similar to what's already built in, but slightly um, different in terms of how it looks. And you can modify it very easily by just changing whatever you put in the root of that dialog. And finally, we animated it using some interesting um, scale transitions that are available in JavaFX. As for the interpolations, um, I've done a couple of videos on interpolations, so I'm going to link those and then put a link to this list of interpolators, interpolators that are available for you to use. Thanks for watching.